And the moon, it will not hurt you. The flood won't sweep you. The Lord is your anchor. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God.
name. Your name is your. Your name is your. Your name is your. Your name is your. Replasara bahana. Rikaya la bahana. Replasete la garebosia. The self-insisting God. Zila bahana la garebosia. Replasata ya la bahana. You say you are hungry. You won't even tell us because Kento on a thousand hills belong to you. Self-existent God, we worship you. You deserve a worship. You deserve a worship tonight. 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 You deserve a worship. Marosata yanamaha, riproposata, rikayalalalamasiya, rikayalalalalamasiya, represente regalalamasiya, rimasata yanamaha. says if I'm hungry I won't even tell you because Keto on a thousand years belong to me he is Yahweh he is not improving he is not correcting who he is he is the same yesterday today and forever he is no beginning he is no ending come on open up your mouth and worship him Risha that's a God reserve Yahweh is his name Elohim is his name. He is the mighty judge. He is the El Shaddai. We worship Elohim, the great judge, the mighty ruler. We worship you. 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 Yahweh. So we lift you high. So we lift you high, Yahweh. So we lift you high, Yahweh. So we lift you high, Yahweh. So we lift you. Till the 
on the rising. Come on, chance. See the sun. Come on, raise it up. Oh, yeah. Lift up hands, everybody. From the rise, I say, from the seven times a day, I will praise you, oh Lord. Oh, yeah. Woo. Lift up your hands, everybody. Come on. Uh, one more time. Let the verse you come on. From the rising, from the Your name Come on, let it swell, come on From the rising, from the And I told you, the Bible says that in Habis, the tequila of his children, in Habis, the praises of his children, the word tequila there is not just a spiritual praise, it means a sustained praise. You sustain it. You sustain it. You sustain it. David sustained this praise for 33 good years, 24 7. 33 years. Men that came before him, the men that came to him, dejected, rejected. Funny people, they became mighty men of David. Am I talking to somebody this way? Hallelujah. 33 good years, 24 7. Ah, sustaining it. Ah. Let me tell you what music is music is tension and release. Tension and release. Tension and release. And that's the nature of praise. Tension is so and then there's a release. Let's sustain it for some time. Something is going to happen. You want to sustain it for some time? David sustained 33 years. I'm just telling you to sustain it just for three minutes or one minute or two. David, 33 good years. Can we sustain this thing? Is that it? Hallelujah. 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 Are you ready here? Are you ready here? I gave you another revelation. I told the Bible said that. The Bible said that he has gone up. Wait. The Lord has gone up with a shout. Where is he going up? To sit on his throne, he has gone up with a shout. Ha! Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to sustain as we shout to him. I told you this as they shouted, you know, you know, you know, the times the walls of Jacob came down, it missed the roar there, it missed the sound, the shout of man and the shout of God. It was not just a shout of man, God was mixed. God was also part of it. As they were shouting, God was shouting. Bible says, I will rejoice over you with singing. As they shouted, God was also shouting. Hi! I wonder, as you do it, God is also doing it. Walls are coming down. 
in the name of Jesus sicknesses are coming down in the name of Jesus one more time come on somebody shout Please, hallelujah. This miracle is not in your house, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. You better take advantage of this. Huh? One more time, somebody shout to Chitaka. Shooting arrows now, eh? Shooting arrows. Hey! He's shooting arrows from this place as he goes up to hey. One more time, somebody shout! Take your place, Lord. Take your place, Lord. Hey! Take your place in this nation. Take your place, Lord. In this county, take your place, Lord. Maros Kadevahana. In the Lord, take your place, Lord. In the families, take your place. In the marriages, take your place. Begin to shoot arrows. Begin to shoot arrows. Begin to shoot arrows. Sankato Zabiaha. Rishanda Yalamaha. Rekasa Tarangara. 
when we call on that great name Jesus, Jesus, bless us Jesus, we have a victory They used to say that those days. In the name of Jesus. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Hey. You meet these people, I young, all of them. I can see people eh, who are even older than me used to sing those songs. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Hey. We have the. Hey. hey, hey, hey. In the name. Satan, you have to. What was that? In the name of Jesus. In the name. Forget about these ones. Eh? They don't know these songs. Eh? They are young. Eh? We are the victor. Come on, say. In the name of. <laughs> we have. Shout in the name. In the name of Jesus. Hey! In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. In the name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, set the time you have to. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, come on. We have the victory. In the name of Jesus, yeah. The time you have to. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Church, like you know, it does way, right? Just this evening, huh? In the name of Jesus, come on, in the name. Let me give you a revelation. When you clap your hands, the Bible says Psalm 147, verse, verse, clap your hands, all you people. The word clap there is stuck, it means to slap. Slap. It means to squeeze in between. Every time you are crying, so as, as you clap like this, eh, you are not you are slapping your enemy. My God, you are squeezing in between your enemy. Squeeze in between. It means like a sound of clutter. Something is coming down. Mountains are coming down. Can you do some revelation now? One, two, in the name say, come on. Let me hear them. Come on. Yeah. yeah. In the name of Jesus, I can't still hear you. Yeah, come on, come on. In the name of Jesus, in the name of hey. in the name of Jesus, we have a victory. In the name.
your praises. Come on, lift it up. The sound of worship. The sound of worship. The sound of worship. I can't hear you here. Come on. Raise it up. Come on, raise it up. Come on, I've just told you it's gonna be the sound. Just raise it up. That's how we fight. That's how we fight. That's how we fight. That's how we fight. He's gonna be the shout. He's gonna be the sound. Maros katosa zila bahanda. Represeta yana bahanezia. Represeta regere regere nebosi. Ishanda yere nebosi. Press the strings up. Press it up. For you, oh Lord, come. So we raise our voice to you, Maranatha, oh yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, you would come, come on, without a sound. This is the protocol of the King.
This is the protocol of the King. So we raise our voice to you. Lift up your hands here. Come on, make it softer. Lift up your hands. I know you're not used to this. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your hands. Maranatha. Maranatha. Even so, come Lord Jesus, come. In our families, even so, come Lord Jesus, come. In our marriages, even so, come Lord Jesus, come. In this nation, even so, come Lord Jesus, come. We raise a sound. We raise a sound of worship. Come for a minute, raise the sound of worship. Let him show up in your marriage. Let him show up in your children. Let him show up in your business. Let him show up in this region. Let him show up in this nation. Let him show up. Let him show up. Come on, raise a sound. Paul and sailors raised a sound. Harika Dobra Siena in the prison. And therefore the prison doors began to shake the foundations began to shake prison doors began to shake prison doors began to shake because he showed up then we began to praise the Lord he says for you are good and your mercies and to us forever he began to say it for you are good he began to say for I will call upon the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised that the foundations of the earth were shaken he comes us here the Lord tore the sky apart and he came down fire out of smoke smoke out of his nostrils he came he came, Father, we raise a sound. Father, we raise a sound. We raise a sound for our nation. We raise a sound for families. We raise a sound for ministers. We raise a sound. 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 together hakuna 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 usilo weza hakuna 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 usilo weza hakuna hakuna hakuna
is already here and thank him for inhabiting this place lift up your two hands to the Lord we will give him a shout and clap our hands at the same time at the count of one two three let's go one two three shortly you may be seated right in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God. I say glory to God. I say glory to God. Let's appreciate the ministry of this team. They have done a good good work. Pastor Mule, always a blessing. Let's appreciate the Lord is worthy of praise. On behalf of the body of Christ, I wish that uh, all the men of God, pastors, uh, reverends, evangelists, um, elders, deacons, and deaconesses, and uh, bishops that are in our midst, please, for reasons of time, I wish that we all stand. Then we give Jesus a big clap offering for you because of coming. Please, all the men of God be upstanding, all of you, our GGV pastors, all the pastors. Please, every pastor, wherever you are, let's appreciate Jesus. Better. Look at that. They are all over. Let's celebrate Jehovah. Even better. Even better. Even better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, you may be seated. I will, I will request uh, Bishop Carson to just come and say hello on behalf of all of us just for one. Have a minute. Let's appreciate God for the summit. Praise the Lord. This is wonderful. We really appreciate the Lord for God's servant. Even having time to come and uh, be a blessing to our legion and to our nation. The Bible says that uh, when they were in captivity, God sent a word. And that word delivered them. And through God's servant, God has sent a word. And that word shall deliver us from any kind of calamity. Man of God, we are very, very grateful. Very, very humble to have you around. And uh, we are grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you. Let's celebrate Jesus' word. We want to thank God for all our friends and partners people that have come, of course, from the body of Christ, from near and far. 
right from uh, the morning session in the morning service, we've been receiving men of God and also servants of God and friends and partners. And what a joy that even this evening we have received a team that has come from Nairobi, others from other places. What a joy. Praise the Lord. Please let's appreciate them all in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, Her Excellency Immaculate, thank you. Just stand in your friend and wave. Thank you for coming from that far. Let's appreciate them. They have just come from far. Asante sana. Sir, just before we have you on this holy desk, we have some young men uh, that are acrobatic in nature. They wish to, to bless you with their talent just for three minutes before we have you here. So, Emmanuel and your team, Kidogo, amen. Let's not scare anybody. Amen. Emmanuel and your team, I give you three minutes. These young men, sir, God has helped them a lot and they have been uh, moving terrifically. And I know they will receive your grace, not to be limited here in Kenya, but also to go all over this world. Asante sana. So, Emmanuel, I give you three minutes. Don't fall on the apostle there. Be careful. Ah, yeah. To apigia ma coffee. Appreciate the Lord for the Holy Ghost is here. Amen. Appreciate God better than that. That's the one they are waiting for. Okay. 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 We still give them one more minute uh, to. One of you can assist some so that we know exactly what you're looking for to help us save time. Amen. Appreciate them. Amen. 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 Thank you.
Amen. The Bible says the gift of a man. you, we celebrate you, you embody whatever God is, you helped the Father to create things, come in this room Lord and do something new in our lives. All the people you see here, they are Holy Spirit. They have not come to meet a man. They have come to meet God. Manifest yourself through me. Touch every man according to the desire that has brought him here. Let this be the greatest impartation we have had this year. And may the second half of this year be the best season everyone under my voice has experienced since they were created. That they may know that you spirit of God you are in our midst. In Jesus Amen. Hallelujah. Be seated on the because we are going to work so much. I want you to just uh, sow a smile in your neighbor. Because some of them have not received a smile since morning. Just tell them, by the way, you look good. Only that I look better than you. Amen. I want again to thank the Reverend Martin for trusting God. To host Apostle Mayan. Amen. Uh, I was started coming to Embu. I didn't know I would be coming to be in these kind of meetings. I was chasing a girl that I ended up marrying in this region. That's why I preach with a lot of force because this region gave me a girl. And Reverend Martin was my, he didn't, he didn't even have this size of body. He, this man has added weight. <laughs> you are doing a fantastic job. God bless you. He was my errand boy. He was the only one who knew that I'm chasing a girl in Kenya. Can you imagine? People were shocked when they heard that he's the one I trusted. 
You see, because I was already famous, but I'm also sensitive. When I saw him, I saw that uh, he can handle. <laughs> and he handled very well. I sneaked in from Entebbe, flew into Nairobi, and uh, <laughs> I remember telling him that, you know, I'm coming, uh, I'm coming to meet the parents of the girl that I'm pursuing in that region. And nobody knew. I'm a, I'm a master when it comes to intelligence. I'm FBI. <laughs> so I told him I want, I'd never come to Embu so I told him because uh, I'm supposed to go through Embu to where they come from I want you to get me now you're all listening look at you you're listening to my stories <laughs> So I told him that uh, you want to hear. Yeah. Aki. <laughs> so I told him that uh, you find me the best hotel in Embu. Organize for me. I didn't know. I just told him organize for me a car. So I was willing to take care of everything. And uh, I told him you will still escort me. Because they wanted to know who is this dude that's, that is chasing their girl. So I said, I'm coming. <laughs> Sweet Holy Spirit. And coming, I came. Oh. So what, what connected me strongly it was that uh, when I came to the airport in Nairobi, he... He had already organized for a car to pick me. And I didn't, I told him I will come. That man has faith. And that time his church was very small. So when he organized that, and he told me, ah, Daddy, we have already, we have even paid for the hotel. I said, I'm going to pay. So when he said that, I was coming in on Thursday. Uh, I came in on Friday, Thursday. Thursday. Then we went there on Saturday. Then I told him, because of what you've done, I will preach for you on Sunday for free. <laughs> and I gave him two sessions. I remember when he, he heard that, he rushed to Nairobi and did banners. <laughs> Great faith. This one has faith. And people asked him whether he's just a joker. And Apostle Mayanja came. I told him, when I will meet you and preach for you, you are going to be a great man. And I remember that time when I preached, the judge joined this church, the judge of Embo. That was the beginning. Now here we are. He's now a serious preacher. When God go, is going to raise you, he uses a point of contact. That is a very important thing for everyone here to understand. God wanted, I thought I'm coming to the family of my fiancé, but God also had Pastor, mine, Pastor Martin in mind. Do you understand what I'm saying? He uses a point of contact. After this meeting, you will meet your point of contact. I felt like I'm speaking to somebody here. Somebody say point of contact. After this session, I feel like somebody is going to meet a point of contact. There's something that you will go through or you will touch 
that will lead you to the door you've been always longing for. Because until that time, I was just passing through here to go to Meru. In my mind, I never had Embu in my mind. But the point of contact. For him, it was service. Eh? It was service. Never underestimate small things. You can do something small. I've always said that big doors are moved by small hinges. What moves the door of your house is not the size of that door. It is a hinge that swings it. Now something small can connect you to something mega. So that was, I'm, I'm suggesting that whatever you do, pour your heart into it. Do you hear me? Pour your heart into it. When you serve somebody, pour your heart into it. A small thing can lead to something big. These young men made me look like, they might, reminded me how I used to dance, break dance. I felt like joining you. <laughs> God will take you far. Amen. Somebody say a point of contact. There is a person who blessed me with so much money during the season of COVID. Money that took care of me and my family for two years. How did it start? I walk in the morning and I said every morning I would kneel and pray. And I would tell God, we don't have needs in this house. But I have some money here. Help me to meet a person who has a need. Now very few people pray like that. Everything, you are the trinity of self. Me, myself, and I. Now hear me. I ask the Lord that I want you to help me meet a person who has a need. So I would walk. That time we were under heavy lockdown, there were no cars moving. If you wanted to move, you were free to walk on foot. So I walked. I met this particular lady, a very old woman that I've desired to meet and I've never met her again. Praise God. Somebody said point of contact. The road was so deserted, so we were the two of us. I'm coming from up, she's coming from down. When I approached her, my heart felt, she was walking barefooted. My heart felt like this is the person I should give this money. And it was good money. When I stopped her, I said, Mom, how are you? She just looked at me. She said, I'm fine but non fine an interesting character she said don't you see she's like telling me don't you see how things are now so I said but mom I stopped you for this reason I wanted to give you this money I called it small something and she lifted her head with a lot of authority and she looked at me. She said, I'm happy, pointing at me. And she said, because I'm happy, she pointed to heaven. He is also happy. Up to now, I don't know the kind of person I met. I've prayed to meet her again. I've never met her again. And I pass there almost every day when I'm in Uganda. I want to meet my old mama. She never came back. In fact, one time I said, could it be what the Bible says that don't 
uh, hesitate to entertain strangers because some entertained angels thinking they are human beings. The statement she made did not come from a woman walking barefooted. Look at even the level of authority. I am happy. And because I'm happy, he is also happy. I went home. I received a call that changed our family. That same day, can you shout point of contact? So you never know, you never know uh, what God is doing here. Like now this church is the point of contact for you. Yes, God is using this building this night as a point of contact. So thank you for coming. I'm going home after this. I want to meet my people who are called by my name. And uh, uh, remember to sing for me happy birthday on Saturday because it will be my birthday. Since I have blessed you before. I usually come here before my birthday, apparently. Yeah. Somebody should buy me a jet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should buy me a jet. Amen. The books that are here, this is the last day they will be here. Actually, the few hours they will be here. Not even a full day. We are going with them. After the service, do yourself a favor and get the books. The Lord will bless you. Because if you are to get them again, that will be next year, God willing. And you don't know. Last year, I didn't come. So better, <laughs> better get yourself the books, okay? Beautiful. Are you ready? Tell your neighbor that now, everyone on their own. Tell them like you mean it. From now, everyone on their own. Hey, we are going to work. Hallelujah. How many of you know that God can change you in an hour? God can change your life in a second, in a split second. God doesn't need to call for a committee to change your life. He makes a decision and no matter who is against it, you know the beauty about God is that when he decides, he becomes the majority. When God says this is evil, it doesn't matter who whether all seven or eight billion people support it, it is still evil. If he says, I've lifted this one, it doesn't matter who opposes him. He has lifted him. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be very powerful over you. Last night I had a dream and I saw my mentor blessing me in the dream. I think he... He prayed for me a lot last night. He really blessed me. I'm happy. <laughs> In that dream, I saw other people wanted to be blessed by him. He refused. It was a very big meeting. It was a meeting at the church where we were. It was a 10,000 seat. I know the church. Uh, he refused. And the only one blessed. Now I'm sharing my blessing with you. Praise be to Jesus. Luke chapter 1. Our message tonight is opening a new family record. 
So prophetically, you are going to say, Okay. Who should I talk to? Not you. Let me talk to her. What I want. <laughs> you, you, you may not be so quick. Next time I'll talk to you. <laughs> Praise God. Lift up your right hand of power. And say these words after me. I am opening. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. A new family record. Say it again. Yes. Number three. Mm. Number four. Mm. Number five. Yeah. Number six. Finally. Congratulate yourself. What you've just prophesied over your life, all hell is breaking down by that statement alone. Are you listening to me? What you have just said, it simply means you have separated yourself from the people you came from. Because after this session, you will not look like them. Am I making sense here? Shout, I'm opening. I'm opening. A new family record. New family record. Every preacher who is here, congratulate yourself that you came. Because after this message, you will not look like the rest of the preachers. You're going to open a new family record even within the body of Christ. Within the family of God, you will be a distinct person. You're going to be a unique vessel because you came this evening and you declared in the presence of the Holy Spirit of God and said you are opening a new family record. You don't need to look like your brother. Do you hear what I'm saying? You don't need to look like your cousins. May you be the person they will think you didn't come from them. You don't look like them not because you are the poorest. You don't look like them because the best they bought was a bicycle. But now you are driving a Range Rover. You are opening a new family record. What does that mean? It simply means... The things that have never happened in your family, they are going to happen to you. Yeah. You are going to be the author of new things yeah. that have never happened in your family bloodline. Yeah. Shout, I'm opening. I'm opening a new family record. New family. I feel fire in my bones now. Shout, I'm opening, I'm opening. a new family record. Do you know what that means? You will enter where they never entered. You will eat what they never ate. You will sleep where they never slept. You will be received where they were rejected. You are opening a new family record. Hallelujah. Shout I'm opening. A new family record. You will build what they could not build. You will drive where they could not drive. You will be received in nations they have never even stepped into. Where your people stopped your beginning from there. Because I see you lifting up your right hand. 
and say, I'm opening a new family record. Glory to God. You look better than the people you came from. Thank God for the Bible. No wonder some people call it super book. Because the Bible is the only book that can tell you that you can open a new family record. Where Kenyans can't go, you will go. Why? You have opened a new family record. Your husband will look different from the husbands of your sisters. Oh, you did you hear what I'm saying now? Shout, I'm opening a new family record. Your house will be ten times better. Because now you have to be different whether they like it or not. They are not lucky because they are not in this meeting. By the time they see you, they will not catch up with you. I prophesy speed in your feet. I speak speed in those feet. You are taking over. May God restore to you your wasted years. Because you are opening a new family record. Let's get to the Bible as you clap your hands. Your children will be better than their children. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shut my children will be better than their children. If they are accusing you for speaking that, that like that, send them to me. How can you speak like that or that your children will be better than our children? Can you shut up? You should also go, have gone to the meeting and you prophesy that your children will be better than mine. But if you did not go, leave me alone. My children will be better than your children. Are you still speaking again? Shout, I'm opening. I feel fire now. I'm opening. Stand on your feet and say, I'm opening. A new family record. Lift your hands and say, I'm opening. A new family record. Whatever that has never happened. Track them from your mother's side. Look at them from your father's side. No one will look like you. No one will look like your children. You are opening a new family family record. Clap for yourself. If you're a pastor, you're a bishop, you're a reverend, if you're a preacher, hear me, you will do what preachers have never done. You will be the first to do something preachers have never done in Kenya. They will come to you as a reference. They will look to you as an address. You are opening a new family record in the brotherhood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Something special is opening to you. Lift up your hand and say, I'm opening a new family record. The Bible says in Luke chapter 1, sit down on the head of your enemies. In Luke chapter 1, Jesus' street, verse 60, let us read from, uh, from verse 56. And Mary remained with her three, for about three months and returned to her house. Who is this? Answer me. Elizabeth. Me the following verse. You are not reading like you are opening a family record. Read again. And. Uh -huh. 
Corinthians, the following verse. When her neighbors, somebody say neighbors. I promised you that we are going to deal with neighbors tonight. No neighbor will stop you in Jesus name. We are dealing with neighbors in Jesus name. Somebody say my neighbor. You will feel my energy. And when her neighbors read and relatives, somebody say my relatives. I'm coming after you. Because listen to me for free. The biggest problems we face in life, they are caused by these two categories. Either neighbors and relatives. A neighbor is someone who knows you very well. A relative, you came from them. Most of the limitations we face, they are caused by these two people. Very few neighbors want you to be better than them. Am I talking to people who have neighbors? Very few neighbors desire that you become like better than them. They don't want you to have a better business. They don't want you to drive a better car. If in fact when you are shifting, they will discourage you from leaving that place because they want you to maintain the status quo until today. Because from now, neighbors are in trouble. <laughs> Say, my neighbors, my neighbor. I'm coming. <laughs> when her neighbors read and her relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. Sometimes they pretend like they're rejoicing. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> when, I, uh, when I said I'm, I'm marrying, there are people who said, Oh, God is faithful. <laughs> I never saw them again. I'm telling you the truth. Until now, I've never seen them again. Because everything you enter into, let me say this to you for free. Every relationship is a mathematical symbol. I've taken you to primary school. There is a symbol called the plus symbol. Remind me, minus, divide, and multiply. Every person you meet represents those four symbols. Never forget what I've told you. There are people who meet you and they become a plus. They add something to you. There are other people who meet you and they divide something. There are others who take away something. There is a group that comes with a multiplier effect. That since you met them, things have multiplied. May you meet such a group. Yeah. Every relationship represents a mathematical symbol. The, not everyone who is laughing with you is for you. David said his word that he is a group of people that bless me with their lips. But their hearts are cursing me. Every time God is about to take you somewhere, there is like a group that comes. And they smile. Hi. How are you? <laughs> glory to God. They are not giving him glory. They are cursing. Glory to God. Inside they are saying, I wish you die in an accident. The anointing you are living with from this house will silence all of them. Yeah. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. Remember, this woman got her baby at a very old age. She might have been about 87. They were old people. 
Because even when the angel came to stay with that scripture, when the angels came to, don't change that. When the angel came and said that, hey, Zechariah, ah, the prayers you made years ago, they have been hard. Zechariah said, ah, say, wait, 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 wait. And the angel said, you will have a son. And uh, this son will be great in the presence of God. Zechariah is listening. You will call his name John. When he finished, Zechariah <laughs> looked at him and he said, Sir, I'm Zechariah, you are correct. But the problem is here. It seems you didn't look at me very well. I'm an old man. And Zechariah takes the conversation deeper. You are unlucky. My wife is not here. If you had seen her, you wouldn't have prophesied. Because look at the, the way he put it. He said, my wife, for him he said he's an old man. When it came to the wife, he said, she's well advanced in years. <laughs> Eh? Are, are you looking at, uh, thank you so much thank you you are opening a new family record yes. are you seeing how he's describing the whole thing I'm an old man and my wife is not just old sir she's well advanced so please leave these things you are prophesying to yourself. And there was a battle. And the battle was where? In the holy of holies. And the angel said, since you are talking too much, let me also introduce myself. My name is Gabriel. I like the version that renders it well. He told him, I don't just stand in the presence of God. He said, I stand in the very presence of God. Meaning, you, you enjoying his presence. Me, I come from his very presence. He was trying to introduce to him who he is. That when you hear that I'm Gabriel, I'm not an ordinary angel. I'm an archangel. He was simply telling him, we are not even many. We are three. One left is here. I'm left with Michael. I'm called Gabriel. No man challenges the words of Gabriel. And he said, since you are very talkative, I know the principles that work here. They say death and life, they are in the power of the tongue. Let me start with your mouth. I'm shutting your mouth up. The man, he said, you will not be able to speak. Because if you continue speaking, you will abort this. Because that is a principle on the earth. Death and life, they are in the power of the tongue. So he said, hey, since I'm Gabriel, let me start with your mouth. You are so talkative. Bam! You will not talk. You will be writing to Elizabeth. What happened? I met an angel. He said, it's Gabriel. <laughs> he said, we are. He said, I can imagine what happened in that house. <laughs> Elizabeth, the angel said, we are going to have a son. <laughs> you can imagine Elizabeth saying, Zechariah, the way you are not even speaking, you must be a madman. <laughs> How can you tell me that I can carry children now? But there is a God in heaven. You are opening a new family record. Listen. Now, the boy is born. We go to the following verse. So it was, let us read together. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child and they would have called him 
by the name of his father, Zechariah, stay there. Who are the ones calling? Neighbors and relatives. They even came with a name. They know what Zechariah has gone through. But still they want to give this boy the same name. They were simply saying, young boy, now that you are born, let us give you a name. Your name will be Zechariah. In other words, whatever your father went through, you will go through. At the age he gave birth, you will give birth. Because they are literally baptizing him the problem of his father. But shout, I'm breaking the record of my family. I'm speaking to record breakers in this room. Anything that has not happened in your family is happening to you. Yeah. Satan is in trouble. Yeah. You are opening a new family record. Yeah. There was a fight between the neighbors and relatives and the family of Zechariah. Because the Bible says in verse 16. And his mother answered and said, no. He shall be called John. You would have expected that they are going to give her. Because this is not your baby. You cannot. I name all my children. No relatives gives names to my children. No grandparent gives names to my children. I appear. The moment they are born, I'm the first one to carry. And I speak to heaven concerning them. Come on now. Nobody should speak into the destiny of your children. Open your mouth always and be the one to talk to where your children will finish in the game of your life. I see your children becoming judges. I see your children become MCs. I see your children become members of a parliament. May your children become the best doctors in this country. I see your children becoming presidents and vice presidents neighbors and relatives scatter she said no every woman listen to me you have to learn to contest when it comes to the destiny of your children fight for your family when the neighbors are decreeing you should say no I cancel that when the relatives are speaking, say, no, 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 that is not the case. It is supposed to be this way. Don't you allow a foreign person to be speaking into the destiny of your children. May your children finish well in the game of life in Jesus' name. She said, no. He shall be called John. Somebody, some opening. A new family record. Listen to what happened again. But they say to her. They are still fighting. I came to deal with the demons. That are insisting. That your children should never become different. That your life cannot become different. They are insisting. And they say to her. Read for me. There is no one among your relatives. Who is called by that name. That is what I came to announce to you. The name that is never in among your relatives is your name. You are breaking a family record. I'm talking about things that have never happened. There is no one among your relatives who tells you that just because it has never happened among my relatives, then I'm not qualified to have it. I came from Uganda to celebrate with you. Because you are breaking a new family record. You are in this house tonight to rewrite the history of your bloodline. Where they didn't go, you will go. They will hear that you met the president. Are you listening to me? They will hear that King Charles invited you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Hallelujah. I have slept in this life where no
no relative as long as far as I can remember. I have slept in places where they have never slept. They are even dreaming of. I have slept in places where they tell me per night is $8,000. And I'm going there to sleep. Just sleep. Sleep, bed and breakfast, $8,000. None of my relatives has ever slept like that. So I qualify to prophesy to you. I have entered where they never entered. May you enter where they never enter. Are you listening to what I'm saying? By the grace of God, none of them dresses like me. Where I buy clothes from, they don't buy. Hallelujah. Listen to me. God is going to make you a sign among your relatives. Shout, I'm opening. A new family record. They said to her, no one among your relatives is called by this name. They are demons that are fighting so that you don't become anything better than where you came from. But I came from Uganda with the wrath of God to go to your foundation. I send the blood of Jesus to your foundation to break every barrier that has resisted you over the years. I command that every gate opens up. You are coming out of your people. Become what they have never become. Breaking family records. In the family of Zechariah, he was the first one to get a child at 90s. Records must be broken. They are records that have stood for years. Even in the body of Christ. Even in the churches of Kenya. Is anybody listening to me? Even in the churches of Kenya. That when churches get to this, then they stagnate. If a preacher is listening to me here today. Hear me and hear me good. You will be the first preacher. To break a record in Kenya. Where churches stop you are crossing over. Where churches cannot get you are crossing over. I announce that you have mega churches in Kenya. In Jesus name. Mega churches are coming out of this country. When I will come to open a mega church. Are you listening to what I am saying? Why you are opening a new family record? Okay? If it has never happened to them, may it happen to you. People break records. A man in Kenya decided to go back to school so that he can study the Bible. Little did he know that he's breaking a family record when all other Kenyans were just seated here. Guinness Book of World Records recorded him as the oldest man to go to primary school. That is a record broken. As if that was not enough, you know when you honor God, God honors you. He started to read the Bible. And God was saying, I'm happy. Listen now. Hollywood. Where movies are made in America. Los Angeles. Where is that one going? What do you want? Eh? What is your problem? What is that? Interpret. What is the pro? You are sick of word. Ask her. Don't just bring her. Let me ask first. Answer what I'm asking. Is anybody interpreting for me what she's saying?
let, let her get a seat for her. Tell her to sit down. I'm going to pray for her. Find a seat for her. I'll pray for her. She lives where? Can I talk to her? Can you bring her here? Somebody say, I'm opening a new family record. Now stay there. What's your name, Mama? Juliet. Juliet, you have a problem? Oh, look at this baby. Where does she live? No, I'm, you ask, what I'm asking is what you should ask her. With who? Oh. Okay, this is your son. Oh dear. Okay, can you kneel down? I pray for you. This is also her job. Oh, Jesus Christ. Juliet, I'm going to pray for you. Now, Father, in Jesus' name, what is the name of your child? Where is the father of these children? Hmm? Where did you where did the father go? Ask her. Oh. So what is in this bottle? Water. So you don't drink at all? Mm. In the name of Jesus. Father, we are talking about opening a new family record. This woman, make her a testament. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. She is going to be a different woman. Her children are going to be great. Father, I cover these children with the precious blood of Jesus. Now I speak healing and life to your body. Be healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. I command that all the forces of hell that have touched your body Loose you now in Jesus' mighty name. And I command you to be healed. In the name of Jesus. And your children will grow to be great children. In Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus. Let us stand up. Uh, can you come please? I, I want you to do a fall up on him for me. Okay? I want you to be coming here. I, I want an interpreter.
Okay? You keep coming here. These children, they are not going to be like this. Okay? Have you eaten? From today, we are going to eat. Amen. Tell her. Pastor Martin, be my interpreter. Jesus has healed you. I'll buy you food. Give her to me in a camera. I want to see her clearly with her children. I want you to look at this woman. God is going to change the life of this woman. Can you tell her what I'm saying? You are forgetting. You are like I'm preaching to you. You keep coming to this church. Okay? You are listening? I'm going to... Look at this mama here. Eh? You see her? I'm going to give you money for you. Okay? So that you take care of these children. To now give her 10,000 for you. Okay? You are going to be a good, you are going to change. I think she's feeling pain. Do you have pain on your back? You are not going to die. Someone like her, you remember someone like her who came here? It seems whenever I come here, people like this must come. I'm giving you 10,000. I, I want people to join me, help this family. To, you never know why God has brought her here. This can be a test for all of us. Okay? So I'll give you, you will get every detail uh, because I don't know her. Talk to her. We are going to, let her sit down. She's going to eat. She's going to feed her children. And those children are not going to dress like that again. I'm opening a new family record. Don't take her outside. Oh, but let, him, let her first. Where is food? Where is something to eat? Do you have it already? No. Where is it? Have you seen it yourself? <laughs> Let them get it, then they will take her. Leave my people alone. Anybody who wants to be a blessing to that woman after this service, please be. Can you imagine I looked at her children. Hmm? Just imagine if that was your child. Those are things that move me a lot. Her life is changing. Every demonic power that was put in her life, by the time we are done with this session, none will be there. Those rags her children are wearing, they will not wear. She, she's a beautiful woman. She's going to have to break a record here. Yeah. You remember another one who wanted to kill herself the other time? 
There is a power that draws them here whenever we are around. Let them keep on coming. May this become their healing center. Yeah. Glory to God. Beautiful. But they say to her, there is no one among your relatives who is called by that name. And the Bible says the following word. So they made signs to his father what he would have him called. Somebody be attending to that lady, whatever she wants to ask, you answer, okay? And the Bible says, read for me. Then he asked for a tablet, a writing tablet, and wrote, saying, his name is John, so they all marveled. May God give you a name that is going to make your relative and neighbors marvel. Yeah. They will all marvel because of the changes that are coming to you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Something special is happening already. Yeah. When you see people like that woman walking in that, this meeting. It is the Holy Spirit dragging them to where the show is. He was like telling her, you go to where the names are changing. You go to where they are breaking family records. After this service, those who knew you will not recognize you. Because you are breaking a family record. If in your family there are no rulers, you will be one. May your children be second. How many of you believe what I'm saying? Look at this scripture in Amos chapter 7, verse 14. Amos chapter 7, verse 14. Let's read it together. And Amos answered and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor was I a son of a prophet, but I was a sheep breeder and a tender of scammer tree, fruit. Listen, Amos is saying, you are celebrating me as a prophet, but let me tell you, I was not one. Even my father is not a prophet. I was a shepherd, but now I'm prophet. What your father was not, you are becoming. What you cannot trust in your bloodline, it is coming to your household. If there are no prophets, may you be the first one. If there are no billionaires, be the first billionaire in your bloodline. If there are no great men, be the first great man in your bloodline. In the name of Jesus, he said, I was known a prophet. There are no prophets in our family, so stop telling me what is not in your family. We serve a God who changes names. May your status change in this service. Shout my status is changing. Shout my status is changing. Say it again. Shout my status is changing. Hallelujah. Status must change. That's why I've now changed. I'm going to give that woman 20,000. Status change. Are you listening? Status must change. That's my opportunity, especially when I'm about to celebrate my birthday. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you preachers? Do you preach? The, are you pastors? Okay, let me tell you now. When I see your faces again, you'll be better than some of the pastors I've met. Somebody's status must change. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was known a prophet. My father was known a prophet. In other words, he says, we are known, I was not rich. My father, you don't need to see him because he was the poorest. 
But there is a God who makes a prophet in a family where there are no prophets. That God who can create a prophet in a family where there are no prophets is in this house today to tell you, to announce to you that you are creating a record now. Huh? You are breaking record. The other man I was talking about before this lady walked in here. Are you listening? They made a film, a, a movie out of him. Can you imagine? You decide to go to school. You break the record and you are written in the Guinness Book of World Records. And Hollywood made a movie out of him. That is what can change a man. You don't need to commit suicide. This one says she wants to kill herself. Don't kill yourself. You have, don't die before you meet Apostle Mayanja. Is anybody hearing me? Oh, lift up your hand and some opening. A new family record. I'm about to charge you now. Say, I'm opening. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. A new family record. Now lift your hand and say, I'm laying a new foundation for my family in the name of Jesus. It has to be a new foundation because, because there are things you can renovate. Have you ever renovated a house? You can renovate a house, but on the house there is only one thing you don't renovate, the foundation. Foundations are not renovated. If it was shaky, it will remain shaky because it is underground. That's why you are creating a new foundation now. You are building a new foundation. You will not build on the foundation of your relatives or your neighbors. Build a new foundation. There are things that are, have not happened in the body of Christ here in this country because of the foundation. I ask you in the name of Jesus, build a new foundation. If ministries are going to change in this country, you need to create another foundation. I'm prophesying to you now. Stop following certain foundations. The Bible says if the foundation is faulty, the righteous can do nothing. If the foundation has a crack, the righteous can do nothing. Renovate everywhere until you understand either you bring down that building or you build another one. But I came to tell you are building another one. You are building another one. Listen. Say, I'm building. I'm, building. I'm laying. I'm laying. A, new a new foundation. Lift up your hand and say, foundation of yesteryears. Be broken in Jesus' name. Foundation pollution. Die in Jesus' name. Now lift both hands and say, the background of my bloodline shall not affect me in the name of Jesus. Where is the woman? She's going to eat? Good. Clap for my woman. feeling sweet. Hallelujah. Eh? Say the background of my bloodline shall not affect me in the name of Jesus. Say the foundation of my village. Say it again. Why don't you stand? Say the foundation of my village shall not affect me. Say it again. Yes. Say it again. Yes. 
Remain standing because of what I'm about to say. The Bible says Jesus picked a man. And the Bible says he took him from the village where he was living. Are you listening to what I'm saying? When he picked her, him from the village he was living, before he prayed for him, he first took him out of that village. And the Bible says then he laid hands on him and his eyes opened and then he said his words. Don't go back to that village. Don't do what? Do not go back to that village. Now lift up your hand of power and say the foundation of my village shall not affect me. Say the foundation of my country shall not affect me. Let's say it this way. The foundation of my country, Kenya shall not affect me in Jesus name in the way Kenyans are limited you will never be limited after this in the way they want to enter and there is a lot of commotion and questions for you you will just enter because I speak to the foundation of this land it is no longer going to speak to you it will not speak to your ministry it will not speak to your daughters. It will not speak to your children. You are opening a new family record. Lift both hands now. And say negative. Ministerial foundations. You shall not affect my ministry. You shall not affect my calling. I break you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Die! Die! Clap for yourself. Sit down on the head of your enemies. Opening a new family record. In May, I was giving a testimony I was given yesterday. I was preaching this message in May and I was given a testimony that in that church, it was in Meru, they say that on Monday, like here now, it was an evening like this. On Monday, a guy who was HIV positive went and tested and came out HIV negative. That is the God we are talking about here. This service is a no joke. You are carrying what has been carrying you. Every disease at the sound of my voice. I command you to get out of the bloodstream. Of everyone who is hearing me now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What killed your people will not kill you. You are opening a new family record. If they die young you will not die young. You are opening a new family record. I announce to you today you will not bury your children. You will not bury your grandchildren. You are opening a new family record. The diseases that kill them will not kill you. You are opening a new family record. Shout I'm opening a new family record. If they die in accidents, you will not die in accident. I said the bullet will not kill you. I said poison will not touch your body. Are you listening to me? Shot poison cannot touch my body. Say it again. You will never sit in a car of those who are going to die. Are you listening? You will not pass in a junction of people who are going to die. You will never use a road where accidents are going to occur. You are opening a new family record. I prophesy to you with my two eyes open. The hospital will never waste your money. In Jesus name. If you have cancer, let it die. If you have HIV, let it die. If you have leukemia, let it die. Arise and shine.
for your light has come. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody here is going to look like he has never existed. To the people who knew you, they will not recognize you. When God changes a man, not even his people can remember him. Jesus went back to Nazareth. For 30 years they had lived with him. For only one year they were not with him. He returns there. They were shocked. They were shaken. They said, is this not the son of Joseph? They always want to identify you with where you came from. And not his brothers and sisters here with us. Where did he get these things from? Shut up your mouth. Because while you were away, I was busy opening a new family record. Because they want to see him look like the sisters. They want to see him look like the brothers. We serve a God who changes names. Your name is changing. From poor man to rich man. From poor man to billionaire. Become the first billionaire in your family. Handle money that can smell. May you smell money. Smell money. So that when there is a need, you don't think twice. When I was giving that woman man, I did not have to pray. Let me pray about it. it those, that, those are talks of poor people. You don't pray, you act. Are you listening to me? You don't pray, you just act. I command that the money that you have never handled is coming in your hands. All the money your people have handled will not compare to the money you are going to handle. Become the first big man to ever rise among your people. Shout, I'm opening. A new family record. Shout, I'm opening. Say, I will enter where they never entered. I will eat what they never had. I will build what they never built. May you build a house of 30 bedrooms to the glory of God. Put a house on a hill and say, just write there and say, I opened a new family record. Build a church that become a tourist attraction. That everyone who is passing by will ask, what is that? That is where God must take you. God is moving you to who, from who are you to how are you, sir? You will never go to people's gates and they say, who is that? Before you show up, the gates will open. You have appeared. Shout, I'm opening. A new family record. I cast death in this room. You will know that nobody is in this room. Who is in this room will die this year. You will not die next year. You will not die the other year. You will not die the other year. The other year. Hey, let me say to you. Your vision is not vision 2030. That is a vision for Kenya. That is not your vision. Your vision is 2097. You will be here. Whisper to your neighbor and say, I will see you on Christmas 2097. Shout 
out I'm going to be better than my fathers. We serve a God who changes status. He came to Abraham. He called him Abraham. He came to Sarah. He said, no, you are Sarah. Jacob, you are Israel. Ben on Benjamin. We serve that kind of God. Your status is changing. Your status is changing. From poor man to billionaire. I prophesy property. Oh, let me prophesy property now. How many of you want me to prophesy property? I release property. I release land. I release houses. I raise rental houses. You own property in Membu. You own property in Nyeri. You own property in Kiambu. Own property in Nairobi. Receive it. We are busy opening a new family record. Listen to me free of charge. Stop asking God for a plot. That is not your inheritance. Where is the woman? She's eating. Eh? Where is she? She's somewhere. Where did she go? Don't call her. Where is she? Eh? Hey, let her eat. That one is our sign that things are changing. That was a prophetic sign that things are changing. Things are changing. God used that woman to show you that in a minute she didn't have a, a ten ball. In a minute she was worth 20,000. God is changing your story. God is changing your story. God is changing somebody. Somebody's story is changing. Shout them up, A new family record. Oh, I heard the Holy Spirit say, I allowed her to come in as a sign that I'm changing things here. I'm changing things here. The God who can pick a man, a woman who was on her way somewhere and drag her here. You who has been here, you stand better chances. Say I'm opening a new family record. I'm opening a new family record. Which car where are you announcing? I saw, I saw a number plate here. Eh? Have you found him? Case BC 5944L. Kindly go to the parking area. I think someone wants to park properly or move. If you, that is your car, help somebody there. Because we are busy opening. You know that is a good problem. We want cars to look like birds in your parking. Holy Spirit of God. God is giving you an assignment to monitor that woman. There is a type of blessing that is going to come to you that will even come to your household. Are you hearing me? That lady has something for your house. That one. Even if she tries to run away, look for her. Oh, yo. Ah. Mm. When she's happy, you are going to be happy. Shout my destiny. Look at what Joseph is telling his friend, his brethren. Can we read it together?
There we were binding sheaves in the field. Then behold, my sheaf arose and stood upright. And indeed your sheaves stood all around me and bowed down to my sheep. Just because we came from the same family doesn't mean we have the same destinies. May your destiny stand taller than the destinies of your relatives. Lift your hands and say, my destiny will stand taller than the destinies of my relatives. He continues, give me another verse. And his brothers say to, to him, shall he indeed reign over us? Or shall he indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more. They don't hate you because of your figure. They just hate your destiny. He even told them, I saw stars in the dream. And the moon and the sun. And can you imagine, I was also there with my star. And your stars came, bam! May your destiny stand taller. Amen. You are the person God has been waiting for Amen. to stand so tall Amen. amongst your people. Amen. Say, my destiny, my destiny. will stand taller that the destinies of my relatives, all of them put together. You will be taller in every area. Taller financially. Taller militarily. Taller ministerially. Taller economically. May your destiny stand taller. Somebody has just been healed here right now. Right now. There's another person here. You have a sick person at home. By the time you get home, you'll find him healed. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Miracles are going to happen everywhere. Say my destiny, my destiny is standing taller. Is standing taller. In Judges 6, the Bible says, 6 verse 15. Nations of Kenya. Shout, I'm coming out of Kenya. Whatever limits Kenya cannot limit me. Get out of your country. Next, from where? From your family. Bloodline. Come out. And from who? Your father's house. Mark the word house. Not father's houses. Terra did not have houses. He had a word, a house. We are going. To a land that I will show you. Stay there. God is saying to Abraham. There's something I want you to understand. That I'm the God who changes statuses of men. Number one. Come out. Of where? Of your country. Come out. Of your people. Family. Family there can represent a clan or a particular tribe or a bloodline. God is saying to Abraham, out! And then, finally, out of your father's house. To a land I will show you. And there he promised him, I'm going to give you seven levels of blessings. Hear me good. Tell her the father of Abraham, his name is delay in Hebrew. You can live with people whose destiny is delay. 
As long as Taylor was with Abraham, he never progressed. That is what brings me to this. Every person the devil planted in your life that a man is building in Uganda. Did you see the entrance alone? We have never seen anything like that in Africa. Entrance alone. Please, don't pattern. Entrance, and the church has elevators. We don't have churches in East Africa with elevators. No, we don't have those churches. We have churches that are border borders. God is shifting you. Forget the pattern you had. Somebody's dropping their dream now. There is a church in Korea. A hundred thousand members. In that church, when they are giving offerings, they don't sit, they don't stand. They just sit. There is a conveyor belt. If you have been to the airport, the belt where we put our bags, it moves like zzz. Now, they, a conveyor belt goes through the church. Zzz, zzz. Then it goes there. Zzz. Then you drop your offering. <laughs> then it finishes in the accounts department. They have a piano. There are only two in the world. One of them is in that church. Another one was in America. A piano costing 30 million dollars. That is what they used to praise God. God is so good. God is so good. <laughs> that is what they use. That is the piano. Mom. That is the God. Hallelujah. I stand with. Has touched you. Are you listening? Just a piano. A piano that can take care of the budget of Meru, Meru and Embu County. Piano. <laughs> Is somebody dropping their visions here? Start thinking big. If it is God who is going to do it, let it to be so big. So big. How many of you believe God will do it? Let it be so big. Start having things that are exclusive. Things that are made for serious boys. Like my blazer. They are, more, they are not more than a hundred. This one. It was called exclusive line. Exclusive line is for some of us. They make few for us. Then they mix silk wool, cashmere with microns. Are you listening? <laughs> what you see is what God would do. That what which God would do. You know one time the Lord told me, the way you see me is the way I see you. You see me as small, you will be small. You see me as big, you will be big. Me, I don't read small magazines. When I want to get good things, I go to, there is a magazine called Rob's Report. That's where they put the best of the best. That is what I look at. And I say, I want that watch. And I get. I want this and I get. Others say they will get them in heaven. Come on, you go. But let me tell you, the Bible says flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of God. Some of these things, you have to drive them here. There will be no Mercedes Benz in heaven. Drive your car. There are no nice suits in heaven. In heaven, we wear glory. We don't wear cars, meal. We don't wear silk and wool. Anything you want to use here, better use it before it is too late. A man went to heaven and saw stores of every good thing. And Jesus would tell him, this store, you know that brother? This one is for him. Then they would open. 
every good thing would be in that store. And oh, he loved, I shed my word on him, your disease. Rikarabu seteke, rakata raba sakanda raba ba, raba sanda raba mama Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands everywhere. Close your eyes, everyone, with hands lifted up. Just close your eyes. The Holy Spirit wants to breathe on you. Something is happening in the Holy Spirit presence. Oh, we are going to breathe in seven times. Lift both of your hands. And the power of God is going to move in this room. Breathe in now. Breathe out.